And we're back to Wild Dimes. Now you, I got you, one you. jewel, so um, that can do something or other. I'm just wondering what the hell that, oh! No, I, this is the yeah, way I got yeah, one down. Yeah, you need that one. <laughs> the way I done went so down. So I heard a story. A story that told me that you spent some quality time with my girlfriend and showed her nightmare. <laughs> uh, Dev, you were literally sitting in front of us when we were watching that show. Not for most of it. No? No, I took off for a while, remember? Oh yeah, because you had to do more yeah. technical bullshit. What was going on was we were setting up to, to record last night for Colonel Trigger. Chrono Trigger Session 2, which you'll see so shortly. Actually, that was that was, that was that was during all the, the stuff for Phoenix Wright. Yeah, which, which Phoenix Wright didn't work out. Can't. <laughs> but while waiting, everyone else decided to fucking watch Nightmare, the British sitcom. Not a sitcom. It's a the, game show. The British game show that made me laugh like oh, a sitcom. Sweet. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, that, that well, it's, it's hilarious because... I mean, it's this 80s fantasy, fantasy style game show where these kids, like, there's four kids, one of which is the adventure, and the other are his advisor, or his or her advisors. Mm -hmm. Don't want to get all, don't want to get all sexist now. Uh, yeah. And the kid wears a helmet, and you can't see anything except the, basically your feet, and oh, yeah. <laughs> and. These other kids would try to help them out, but a lot of the time they just give them really horrible advice because they were so goddamn British. <laughs> and they would say, "Okay, uh, right, go left. Um, yeah, right, 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 right. Um, no, 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 turn around, go left. Just go left, right. Go left, right, right. Then, right. Then. It's like, okay. Um, here's the deal, UK." Use correct or alrighty. You or, learned it. Or great. Cosmic Nova. Wow, that's super powerful. I know, it's one of his best. So essentially, um, so we watched we watched a remake on YouTube. Oh, yeah, the remake, you watched the remake now, too. Yeah, yeah. Now, here's the thing, Grab that. You can, like, you can get two um, jewels now. It was apparently made in the original studio. They just didn't they just use didn't, it? They just didn't really, they used the blue, the green screen or blue screen area, but they didn't use the actual set, the physical set, because I don't think they could. They probably like sold it at that point or something. Yeah, well that's the deal, right? You you have to do that with a lot of sets. You, you cannibalize them or you sell them, you sell because them. the studios, especially BBC, which is like CBC here in Canada, yeah. is publicly funded and not given a whole ton of money. They have cutbacks constantly, the people aren't paid very well. Uh, shows run on budgets. You wonder well, why British shows only have you know you know two or three series. It's a lot of his budget. Let's let's be honest here though. Uh, in terms of CBC, their news fucking quality is so abysmal. And I, and that's not a budget thing. It's the fact that they're awful at their jobs. <laughs> it's like it shut depends, up. It depends who it is, I guess. But well, it used to be pretty good. Uh, I haven't trusted CBC News in like the past ten years, dude. Well, that's what I mean. I'm talking about, you know, when we're in high school. Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah. Ah. Wasn't that in high school 10 years ago? No. No, it wasn't. Shit. <laughs> I Shit. Graduated, I graduated 13 years ago, dude. Oh, man, it's so weird. Okay, here. What do you think of this? Uh-huh. When you tell a story from high school, and you think it's a funny story, so you tell it, and the, and, and the reply that someone gives you is... Dude, it was high school. Get over it. Like you got, you got to let that shit go. Um, I think it depends what it is. Cause sometimes, yes, that is kind of oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Sometimes that is the case where I mean, people move on. Cause I mean, there are people that I hated in high school that I'm pretty good friends with. Yeah, you know, there, there are people that they change a lot. Yeah. They just. You know, teenagehood is one of those things where you, you, you experiment and... Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, well, there's it, all it, that stuff. And then we, and I think we talked about that in copious amounts in the yeah, show before. I, I mean, but what, I, what, what I'm getting at... Getting though, over it, dude, what, what, is, is what being I'm getting at here. Is that a guy... I told... I was going to tell a story from high school. Mm -hmm. And a guy said... He said, um... I don't want... I don't really want to hear about high school stories anymore, even if they were funny. Like, I'm an adult. I like adult stuff. If you're gonna tell me an anecdote, make sure it's from your adult life. Really? Yeah. Um, he just he just didn't think anything that happened in high school was worth talking about what anymore. What I getting what I would think 
like having heard something like that yeah. is that they had a miserable experience <laughs> and they really don't want to be reminded of it. <laughs> Maybe, but here's the thing, you had a miserable experience and you're not like that. I didn't like it much, but I, I don't, I don't go to that length. I mean, there are people that have had much worse experiences than me. Yeah, that's true. You know. There was that one kid, that, that, that skeletal guy who was bullied constantly in my grade. Yeah. He was like really, really poor. And I mean, I look him up on Facebook now and he's, he's still really poor, but he changed his name so that no one could find him anymore, but I still managed to find him. Um, and uh, he's like completely just like pure Costanza bald. He's got a clown ring? And it's like, oh dude, nothing worked out for you, even in adulthood. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm sorry, some people, dude. <laughs> some people just, things just don't. Well, but I mean, it depends on the attitude, right? Yep. If they're a good, I mean, if, if they it, act like a good person, if, if, they if they're enjoying enjoy their, their lives, lives, yeah. Well, oh, I should probably save both of these guys. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. whatever. It doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> well, th that's the wrong attitude to have. <laughs> Actually, no, we save it at the end of the session. We just lost our fucking safety file. We gotta play, if this crashes, we gotta replay all this again. To be fair though, to his, I mean, I don't agree with his argument, obviously, but to, but to be fair to it, Bam. I find myself, at least in terms of like the media that I consume, gravitating away from high school stories. I know that. Mm -hmm. Like, I could, maybe even just five years ago, I could sit down and watch like an anime or a show about high school kids. I can't do it anymore. I can't really do it that much either. I mean, I can if it's really good, but like, damn it. You gotta go find another one, eh? Yep. Go try to get, like, pull one back from the depths. I mean, I can still do it, I think, but... I don't know. I don't, I don't enjoy it the way I used to. Here's the thing, though. Here, okay, here's the really funny thing, all right? Because I know that you recently just said that. They're like, yeah, I can't watch, you know... Depending. Show, I mean, you know, I, 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 can't, I, I can't always love Cromartie. High, school Day was, was hilariously bad. Yeah, well, yeah. Would you watch it again? Would you watch School Days again, Dave? No. Exactly. This is what I mean. Like, you find yourself less and less and less interested in stories involving, you know, high school characters and high school, um, high school situations, drama, general. romance, action situations. Anything involving high school, you just find them less interesting. Unless it's unless it's comedy, yeah, I have a hard time. And and here but here's the real funny thing. You know, I had that attitude five years ago towards Tales of Vesperia. I said that Vesperia was a better game than Symphonia and other Tales games because out of all the other Tales games, Vesperia is the only one with a hero who's an adult. Yuri's an adult, he's 21. He knows himself a lot more than someone like Lloyd, who's like, what, 15, 16? He's like 17. He's, he's still in school. In fact, he's in school at the start of the game. And he's really bad at it. And here's the thing, I said that to you and you didn't accept that argument five years ago. I just found that Yuri still behaved like a sullen teenager. I didn't see that at all. Really? I found that Yuri behaved like somebody who probably was a sullen teenager, however gained some confidence, grew up, and realized he can do whatever the fuck he wants with his life. Well, maybe it's and just a childish dialogue in that game. And, and he's surrounded by, by people who want him to do things that he doesn't want to do, and he's like, I don't care, fuck off. <laughs> Why doesn't he just, you know, kill them and just leave? <laughs> <laughs> I think because he still like feels a sense of responsibility to do right. Yeah, because he's a soldier. Farm. He's also just a good person. Fair enough. And okay. that's why I consistently said, you know, Vesperia is a better game than Symphonia. You're like, okay. no, no. And now you're like, you're, 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 now you're using the exact same arguments I did like five years ago. I still have bad memories of that game. <laughs> so that's my high school. That's your high school? Yeah, that's my high school. It's my SFO high school. I don't know. I feel I feel like you're getting triggered by some stuff by Vesperia at this point is just kind of ridiculous. I mean, yeah, we had a bad experience recording it. The videos weren't that good, but whatever. It's still a good game. But to, to accept that is to accept like, you know, if you're playing, I don't know, if you're like, like what, what's your favorite video game? Ever? Yeah, ever. I don't know. Probably Earthbound. Earthbound? Okay. Let's say you play Earthbound and then like Bubba decides to, to butt fuck you well, while you're playing Well, Bubba it. had it coming. <laughs> Are you going to suddenly think that Earthbound's a bad game? No. No. But then again, I've had excellent experiences with it. Gimme. Gimme. <laughs>
Well, then all you need to do, Dave, is have an excellent experience with Tales of Vesperia. So play by myself. <laughs> Ugh. Die, you fucking cocks. <laughs> yeah, this is getting a bit ridiculous. It's just the fact they got this accuracy. It's so, or, and this, this, this dodge rating is so abysmally high. This fucking blow. Wait, did, did you get both gems from downstairs in that one room? So there was yeah. two that down yeah, there. Yeah, I right? did. Use both your jewels to move the statues and go through the doorway. That's what it says. Except I need I needed the other one to, in order to. Um, no, you would have. There's a, there's a portcullis. No, remember, at, at some point you have one gem. You put it in a door. You go through the door. You go downstairs. You you take out two more gems. Yeah. You come back upstairs. Take out the other gem. Now you have three. You should have had three. Except that if I take out the one that's like just down from here, then I can't get downstairs again. No, no, you're, again. you're misunderstanding. You're misunderstanding. You should have had three. Just. Mm. Then I better check. You, you, you should have approached. Nope. This is not the way. Because <laughs> like this is the way. This is the way out. Yes, it is. Okay, so we like, have to. We have no choice. You, you should have approached one. Uh, you should have approached a room with one gem in hand. Put the one gem in. Now you have zero gems. You go downstairs. There's two statues. Take out both gems. Now yeah, you have two gems. That. Come back upstairs. Take out the third gem. Now you have three gems. You then should have used those three gems to open up that final door. You. That'll I'd, close that, right? That will close. So you gotta put that back in. So I can't do anything. This whole level is covered. Fuck off! Fuck! So, Dave, this or Chrono Trigger, now we played Chrono Trigger, Trigger on the show. a thousand times. <laughs> How about the Why new translation I? on the DS? Yeah. Just because the translation isn't, isn't is nostalgic, actually it's better. still good. It's a better translation, actually. Well, yeah, it's, it's more, more accurate. accurate translation. I do miss, like, I wish they would have kept some things, though. Like, I wish they, they would have kept, like, frogs, goofy speak. They gave him character in, like, a fucking weird way. Yeah. Right bad. Also, it made no sense because, like, the scenes where Frog was, uh, like, a child and not yet a frog. He speaks normally. He speaks normally. <laughs> I know. It's Magus like, also made him talk like a Shakespearean goofus. Okay. That won't do anything, dude. Right? Well, well, what are you doing? Well, what are you What are you derping? Well. Fuck off. Well, look where we are again. Just don't crash the fucking party here, bros. Nope. Nope. No party crashing intended. Party crashing in the house tonight. Everybody's gonna have. You a missed that one. How did I miss that? Cause you're a... okay, okay, okay. That was stupid. You fucking deserve a goddamn lashing out in the fucking tool shed for that one, to dude. Be fair, to be fair, you missed it too. <laughs> <laughs> I was too busy um, talking about. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you're too busy. Tales being, of Vesperia. You're too busy being opinionated about another game. So. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Nonetheless, Dave, I think you need to become a woodshed wanderer. Woodshed wanderer? Yeah. What the hell's that? That's when, like, your dad takes you out to the woodshed in the backyard uh -huh. and pulls out a belt and just beats you. <laughs> <laughs> no, he beat me inside the house, Dad. Get it right. <laughs> that was actually a thing on True Capitals Radio recently. Really? Where where Ghost was like, he was getting so pissed off at the trolls. He's like, you're, <laughs> you're, you're, you're screaming. You kids are lucky that I ain't your pappy, boy, because I take you out in the back of the woodshed and I give you a beat and you'd never forget. <laughs> and like, he like, whips off his belt in the middle of the stream and just goes, yeah, 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 yeah. And he like, just starts slapping on his knees. Yeah, yeah. Oh He's like, I ain't made a man of you yet, boy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then like, the next person who called in on Radio Graffiti oh was called the Woodshed Wanderer. <laughs> <laughs> and he like lost his shit. He's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> He's a fan, ghost. Come on. This is an homage to your complete lack of political correctness. Also, apparently he like broke his belt on the air from doing it. What does he need a belt anyway? it was like a $250 belt. <laughs> I thought he was in a wheelchair or something. No, that was just a joke that he just memed oh, around. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So he, he can stand up. 
Yeah. How fat do you think he is? <laughs> um, I mean, he claims to be rather in shape and muscular. I think However, it's bullshit. I think what it is is like he's, he's just like a large man who has muscle and fat just from like working. Yeah, he's like and one he's of those just, Texas oil hands sort of thing. Yeah, and he's just like, he's like incredibly strong physically, I'm sure, but he's definitely not like a fucking bodybuilder or anything. I guess you just go out and like just, just meet, have like ghost con. <laughs> go Dude, they had like a ghost meetup at BronyCon. He like, he completely lost his shit over it. Wait, really? Yeah. So they all, just a bunch of bronies just met up and... and just talk about what you have to radio. Wow. <laughs> that's, uh, that's something. Naomi stole my fucking uh, Fluttershy shirt. I'm not happy. Oh, is that why you were getting all pissy the other day? Yeah, fuck that, man. Like, I know it's, it's like a thing where like girlfriends will like take their boyfriend's clothing and be like, can I wear this once? And it's like, okay. And they're like, it, it gradually becomes, just absorb it. It just gradually becomes mine. I'll keep wearing it, and then it'll be at my house, and now it's mine. It's well, my shirt. It, well, it's fine. Avery Fuck that! A Avery left her perfume here, so I'll just start wearing that. <laughs> <laughs> Does Max love her powers, though? I don't think so. No, she said, I, it's because of you the powers even exist. So why would they? She has to accept the fact that Chloe's dead and move on and go become a famous photographer and then come back and the cycle will continue because she'll start kidnapping boys. <laughs> <laughs> but, but she can't 